Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today in this video, we're gonna be upgrading the brakes on the Golf. So if you guys saw a while ago, I went ahead and installed a set of GTI brake calipers, rotors, and the entire spindle so I can get all that mounted on this Golf. Now the OEM brakes on the car were very small and they weren't that great. So I upgraded it so the caliper is larger, the brake rotor is larger, and I upgraded to the OEM uh, brake pad when I got the entire assembly. Now, it works, it does a pretty good job, but we're gonna be upgrading it and making the braking a little bit better. So, we've got a set of ABC, no, we've got a EBC. So we have a set of EBC yellow stuff brake pads, and we're gonna be installing both of these on the front end of the car. So we've got one pad for the inside part of the brake caliper, and one for the outside. And this is a brake pad wear indicator that most German cars, you know, they like to use. So if you didn't see in the other video, we installed a set of wheel spacers on the car, and this is going to allow us to install these brake pads because they're a lot meatier than the OEM pads. So if you take note of how wide these are, they're pretty big. So my little brother, you know, a while ago, he tried to install them, and um, you know, hmm. yeah, it didn't quite work <laughs> out too well. Yeah. Look, you want to explain what happened? So these things were too big that the caliper started to hit the back side of the spokes of the rim, and well, yeah, it's not yeah, good. No, not good. No, shouldn't do that. No. So, yeah. So with the wheel spacer now, we're gonna have enough room to install those brake pads on the car. So before we go ahead and install these brakes on the car, we're gonna do a 60 to zero test. So we're gonna get the car up to a certain speed, slam on the brakes and see how short of a stopping distance that is. And we're gonna see if that's gonna make a difference when we install the new pads on the vehicle. So let's go take the car for a spin. So I just told my little brother to drive up that hill, come down this way, and when he gets to 60, make sure you're doing 60 once he reaches this pull, and as soon as he gets to that point, slam on the brakes, and then we'll see how long it takes for him to come to a complete stop. So up there, it's on an incline, and when he gets to this part, the ground is flat. So, you know, we should get a pretty good idea as to how well the car brakes now, and then we're gonna go from there, and we're gonna see how much better the, the aftermarket EBC brakes do. So as I said, if you upgrade the front pads on the car, you're gonna notice a much bigger difference in stopping power. So when you slow down, all the weight of the vehicle is put to the front, which means the front brakes, um, they're, you know, they're put under more stress than the rears. So here we go. Okay, so from this point, we're gonna measure it. So the first time that we measured this, we measured it from the front of the vehicle to here, only because that's you know how long my measuring tape is. It's 25 feet, and then right here, we have about 268, okay? So 22 and 268. So we're looking at about 47 feet from the front of the car to here. And this lady's like, yo, what's going on? Okay, so that's one down. Let's see what two more stopping distances are on the vehicle. Okay, so here he comes again, coming down the hill. So stop number two, we're looking at about 49 feet, about 49 and a half feet. Okay, so we have 47 and a half, 49 and a half, and then we'll see what round number three is. So after we do this comparison from before and after, this is gonna give us a good idea to see if aftermarket brake pads really are worth it on the car. We're gonna be able to see how much of a difference it's gonna make. Now ultimately, the tires that you have on your car are gonna make the biggest difference in braking. So if the car has very good tires on it, it's gonna be able to utilize the braking power much better. So whenever you hear the ABS pulse, that's because the tires are losing grip. So if you upgrade the tires to super good tires, and then you upgrade your brakes, then you're gonna get a huge difference in stopping distance when you compare it to OEM. So here he comes down. Oh, never mind, that's a Ford Escape. But yeah, we're gonna average all three times out, install the new brake pads, bed them in, make sure they're properly seated into the car, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so here's number three. Now the third time around is slightly different. We noticed that it's a little bit longer of a stopping distance. So the middle is about there, and the measuring tape hasn't quite hit it. So I'd say that's about 51 feet. 
So after every time we're slowing the car down, the stopping distance is increasing and increasing. Now we wanna see if after these new brake pads are installed on the car, we wanna see if there's any difference. So let's go back home and swap the car with the new brake pads. So we're back home, we have the car jacked up in the air. Now we're gonna be using the impact gun to remove every one of these five lug nuts so that we can remove the wheel from the car. So with the wheel now removed from the car, we can go into the wheel well and we need to remove the brake caliper part and we need to remove it from the brake caliper bracket. So once we do that, we're gonna be able to move this out of the way and then we're gonna have access to the brake pads that are inside the caliper. Now we're gonna take those out and we're gonna be installing the new EBC yellow stuff pads in their place. So once you remove both of the bolts that are securing the caliper onto the bracket, you can then move the caliper out of the way. So just wiggle it upwards and downwards and you'll be able to slide the caliper out. Now when you do that, the caliper should be out of the way and the pads should fall out rather easily. So we've got one for the inside of the car and one on the outside. So there's the one with our brake pad wear indicator on it and the second one fell to the ground. So these are the OEM Volkswagen pads. You can see they're slightly worn. They still have some life on them, but we're gonna be replacing these with the better ones. So our stopping distance and everything should go down with the new pads on the car. So on these German cars, you have to remove the sensor, the brake pad wear indicator, and it's just one little wire right there that's holding it in. So slide that out and you're gonna be able to install the other one in that place. So we can now go ahead and install our new brake pads on the back side. So we have the one right here. This one is the one that has the brake pad wear indicator on the back of it, and you just slide it up and attach it to the top. Now if your car does not have this, don't be surprised. Usually it's only German cars that have stuff like this. So as long as you clip it in properly, you need to, you know, it's gonna have a good connection and your car isn't gonna have a light when you put these on the car. So we're gonna set that aside now. Now you should be installing the front one first because the back one has to be attached to the caliper. So we're gonna go ahead and just mount this up on the front side. So there's the one. And now we can install the caliper and the back brake pad. So take it off of the clip, move the little hanger out of the way. Now if it's got the little backing like that with the little hooks on the back side of the pad, Luga, turn it, like that, that needs to be pushed into the caliper. So push that in place. It needs to be fully pushed in. Now depending on the brake pads, like the old condition of them, you might have to push and retract the piston back into the caliper. So with the piston retracted all the way in, we can then go ahead and install the brake pad inside the piston. So if it's got the little clip, make sure that you secure it in place. You might need to push on it, just like that. So that brake pad isn't gonna be going anywhere. Now we can slide this over top of the brake caliper bracket and it should go over both brake pads, just like that. So with it installed, you can then go ahead and install the two little bolts that are securing the brake caliper onto the bracket. So we had one of them right here, and we had another one on the bottom side. Once you put the two bolts on the back side into the caliper, the only thing left to do is put the little spring clip on the front side of the caliper. So just put it through the two little holes on the front, and it's gonna keep the caliper and secure it in place. Now once you do this, grab the wheel, Grab your lug nuts, put them back on, torque it up, and then we're gonna go for a spin and see if the stopping distance is any different. So we're almost done installing the new brake pads on the car, however, there's one little hiccup that we encountered. Okay, ready? Yeah. So it's raining. So as soon as it gets nice out, as soon as the rain evaporates and everything, we're gonna take the car, go for a spin, make sure the brake pads are completely bedded into the rotors, and then we're gonna go for a spin and test out the braking. We're gonna see if it changed and it's any better. So, stay tuned. So we are here, day two, same car, same kind of outside temperature, you know, it's not raining um, like it was yesterday but we have different pads in the car. So these EBC yellow stuffs, we wanna see if it's actually gonna make a difference in stopping distance. So we have the same tires, so if anything, um, even if we see a small increase, and even, actually we'll see what the car is doing right now, that's not him. Um, even if the car does you know, a slight improvement, that still means a lot because we still have the ABS pulsing, which means that the tires are the weakest point of the braking system. So with the brakes like this, I wanna see if it'll make consistent stopping distances. I wanna see if, if it's even gonna make shorter stopping distances. So we'll see, I've got the measuring tape right here. So he's coming down the hill, 60 kilometers an hour, and he's gonna be stopping as soon as he passes by 
this telephone pole, okay? So here he is. Okay, so you guys heard the ABS just like yesterday. So we're now gonna see if that distance from the front of the car to this uh, telephone pole is any shorter. Okay, so already we can already tell there's a huge improvement from before. Okay, so where my little brother's at right now, that's the 25 foot mark. So from 25 to here, that's 50. Okay, if you guys remember, this is where the car stopped before for the last try. But it's down to 16. So 25 plus 16, that's 41. That's 41 feet. That is a lot better than before. Yeah, that's a huge that's difference. A big difference. Okay, so we're gonna do this two more times, average it out, and we're gonna see if this is consistent through the second and third braking. 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah, you can definitely hear the ABS go on more with these brakes. So, let's measure this for the second time. So for run number two, there's 25 plus another 17. Where is it, right there, 17? So that's lined up with the telephone pole, so we're looking at 42 feet for our second time. All right, and lastly, we have run number three. So, 60 kilometers an hour with the EBC yellow stuff brake pads. Here we go. So here's run number three. Luke is at 25 feet. Okay, there's 25. There's 20. <laughs> that's at like 11 and a half. Okay, so brake pads like this, aftermarket brake pads, if they're track ready ones, they're supposed to improve with more heat, you know, up to a certain point. So the range at which they work better at is higher than OEM pads. So we're looking at 20, uh, 25 plus 11 and a half, so we're looking at about 36, give or take, which is ridiculous. Now there's still a couple factors that we need to consider. Um, tire pressure, the tires, suspension, and even the distance at which, uh, at which we're stopping at, you know. We're trying as best as we can to stop right here at the line. Like, obviously we can't be perfect and consistent with every single try, but I mean, still, the numbers from stock to these aftermarket pads is night and day. So that right there just goes to show how much of a difference aftermarket pads are gonna do in your car. So this right here is just a set of aftermarket EBC um, yellow stuff brake pads in the front. We didn't touch the backs. So with that being said, that is a huge upgrade from stock. So, with this little testing that you have right here, it just goes to show that aftermarket pads will do a huge thing on your car. Now, something to consider is that the difference between the OEM brake dust and the aftermarket brake dust is gonna be quite significant. So, can you guys see all the, like, the little lines right here? Look at that. That's from having these brakes on the car for like, you know, not long at all, like not even a day. Luca, how many kilometers would you say this is? A couple hundred? probably 300. 300 kilometers. Look at the stock. Obviously these are the backs and you're not gonna have as much braking back there. But even still, the front ones, the front brakes with the stock pads never were like this. So yeah, just something to consider. Braking distances is gonna be greatly improved. Uh, the dust, you know, it's a trade off that you're gonna get with this. So if you want the car to stop very well, you know, upgrade your pads to this. But if you want the wheel to stay clean, you know, stick with OEM. Yeah, it is quite simple. It wipes off fairly easily. Yeah, as long as you get it pretty recent, you don't let it sit for a few weeks, then it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Luca, what would you say? Yes? You like? Yeah, you do. Now, if you guys want to upgrade your stopping distances and make the car that much better, if you want to go ahead and install better compound tires on the vehicle, the stopping distance is gonna be greatly reduced only because the traction on the car is gonna be a lot better. The car isn't gonna be squealing and ABS isn't gonna be turned on as much as now. So the tires that we have on the car right now, I believe the 400 compounds or something like that, if you upgrade to say a, an 80, a 140 or anything lower, the tire is gonna be a lot grippier and when you slam on the brakes, the car is gonna stop that much faster. Now with the little testing that we did today, this just goes to show that this is proof that aftermarket brake pads will definitely make your stopping distance shorter. If you guys like the video, share it with a friend or two. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
messed up. We need better tires. Okay. Come on, traffic. What's that? Oh, what is it? 